The Terra prefix means 10 raised to 12 power in the C system. A 1 terahertz frequency equals a trillion hertz, so the terahertz radiation of the T rays are a type of electromagnetic radiation with a frequency of approximately 10 raised to 12 power hertz. The exact limits are not known. The lengths of the waves are accordingly in the range of 3 to 0.03 millimeters. Waves which are 1.01 millimeter long are called submillimeter waves. The range follows a well known infrared spectra and premises the microwave radiation on the electromagnetic scale. The terahertz radiation has a number of peculiarities. Like the X ray radiation, it is absorbed by different materials differently. It passes through plastic and wood, but is significantly absorbed by metals. This makes it possible to use the radiation in a radiographic way. However, the one sufficient property of the terahertz wave range. The radiation does not ionize. It does not damage the living beings. As a result, the radiation is widely used in security systems. Every modern airport is equipped with devices scanning people and luggage without emitting the dangerous radiation. The radiation helps detect metallic, ceramic, plastic and other items under people's garments up to dozens of meters away. In medical institutions, terahertz tomographs are used widely. Unlike X-ray, they do not penetrate inside the body. They merely show the upper body layer, skin, vessels, muscles, which makes it convenient to diagnose tumors. The range devices are also used for technical purposes. They control quality and monitor the equipment when it requires penetrating inside things on a small depth. Terahertz scanners are used by art specialists. When radiating a picture part of the terahertz waves is reflected back. This depends on the material. By analyzing reflection rays, scientists can find images on the hidden layers of paint or walling. This concept reveals a great potential. The effect of waves of such range upon man is not yet known. However, attempts of radio communication have already been made. The properties of computing machines may be improved significantly. The radiation may be used in archaeology to study unique and ancient objects and to detect quick movements of atoms and electrons. T-rays may even help read a closed book, and we must find a proper way to apply them.